We'll continue with Sarah and we'll, we'll look at her yearning for the promised blessing and her impatience, her foolishness when it comes to Hagar and her perseverance through years of silence and her joy in the fulfillment of the promise and her harshness, harsh, harshness in the treatment of Ishmael and her happiness in, her, in her, the later years. But as we look at Sarah, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about Sarah um, to begin with. If, um, if you were to look at Sarah, hope against hope, if you were to look against Sarah from what we've studied this morning, and we only have, as the old saying goes, half of the story, um, to a woman that was classified a princess, with a princess complex. And if you just kind of, you don't have to think very hard to come up with two or three names. And, and just put them in your mind. Uh, how hard would it be for them to complete the journey that we have so far in Sarah's life? What would it take, you know, inside to be able to complete that? Well, her devotion to God and her husband had to be more than her devotion to herself. Yeah. That's exactly right. She had she had to get out of her own self, uh -huh. and that's where the princess complex uh, usually stops a lot of people from being able to fulfill their mission. Is they can't step out of the box of their own self, and Sarah was able to do that. And her devotion was was to was to Abraham. But her devotion must have also, or she, I, I used the incorrect word, it's not devotion to God, her belief in God. Because when she firmly believed that Abraham was going to be the father of all nations, she firmly believed that he was going to be the patriarch, and she firmly believed what God said, and she believed in Yahweh, the one true God. Remember, she was in, uh, brought up in a pagan culture. So until age 65, they hadn't heard from the true God. Do so, you think it had anything, if, I, don't, of course, we don't, I don't know about the culture then, but you know, in a lot of time, if a woman didn't have heirs, she could be divorced. You know, I wonder if it, like I was saying earlier, she might have not had really a choice. I mean, did women have any choice in things like that? Well, they always have a choice, and that was set up by what we studied in Eve. They always had a choice to either obey or not. They always had a choice to either follow God or not. And remember, remember, it was very early in Genesis that we learned that Eve had her, uh, even though her role was to support her husband, her role uh, was on equal status with, with God. She and Adam were on equal in their belief in God and in their uh, relationship with God. So every woman, even though their status as a slave or as a um, subserv, you know, to their husband or whatever, I think society has put a vote, those thoughts in our head, but that's not in the Bible. The subservient role is not in the Bible. Devotion is. Helpmate is. Helping your husband. It didn't say any, but it never says anything about subservient. So yes, they did have a choice. They had a choice uh, to follow their role or not follow their role. Now, you'll learn next week, very fast, that she stepped out of her her role. So yes, she did have a choice. Can you turn that heat up? Yeah, make it stop. Uh, so she did have a role because she did it. And she stepped out and she she went off on she she passed off Hager on her own. She didn't, have any help. she didn't have any help from her husband to do that. She
she did that on her own. All right, one last question and then we'll close with this. Do you believe that even today, the Lord could accomplish something in your life that you didn't think it was possible? Yeah. Even at, because we're, we're all pretty old, <laughs> or we're all getting older, yeah. you know, we're not, we're not the youngest in the group and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, we look at, we look at, we have a lot less years ahead of us than we have behind us, or that, you know, we look at it, and uh, so the Lord can accomplish anything He wants to in our life. All we have to do is obey and listen, and we can accomplish it, Irre and the Lord can accomplish anything in our life, irregardless of our personality. Even if we have a princess complex, like Sarah did. Okay, that concludes our our this week's study of Sarah. We'll continue next week.